Hello everyone, William here, and I am here to talk to you about the year 2019. Uh, this is going to be a, a very simple update video where I, I just sort of talk about uh, what I have planned in, in the future, some, some changes that are going on, as well as reflecting a little bit on the past. Uh, 2018 was um, not, as, not as good as I, I would have hoped it was heading into 2018. Um, at least as far as this channel is concerned. Um, unfortunately, like back in February, uh, this channel got demonetized on YouTube due to uh, some changes in policy uh, in regards to how uh, things things happen and, and, and all that. So uh, I still need uh, subscribers for, uh, in order to get re-monetized. I have, I have the views. I have the watch time. I just need about 400 more subscribers. So... Uh, if you know anyone who's interested in uh, this type of stuff, uh, don't f feel free to share. Um, I just want to reiterate. I want to. I want to thank everyone for being patient uh, with the with A and W reviews being uh, as slow as they were to get going. Um, you know, uh, some unforeseen cir circumstances regarding that, but uh, hopefully things will move better in the future. Um, so I kind of want to talk about. Uh, what's going on in uh, 2019. So um, I released a new channel trailer and um, I'm really happy, happy with it. I'm really proud of it. Uh, I, I really like the look of it. Um, I kind of want to make a new one next year that's kind of like the best of 2019 and I think one of my goals is to you know, be you know, big variety would be I guess the best way to put it. I want big uh, variety on this channel, and uh, there's going to be some changes going around. So, uh, first thing I want to address is uh, the very first video that I'm going to be making for 2019 will be my return to reviewing Modern Sasuke. Yes, it's it's been about two years since since I've. Uh, really talked about Sasuke on this channel uh, in, a, in a substantial fashion, but I kind of, after hearing some some you know, requests for it and kind of talking it out with some other people, um, I've decided that like now's the time. I'm going to I'm going to start talking about modern Sasuke again. Um, I'm back in the mood to do it, and uh, obviously that'll, that'll include Konoichi. And I will be reviewing A and W again this year. Uh, I guess I won't be reviewing Ninja vs. Ninja, because as of right now, uh, it doesn't exist anymore. Um, as for A&W Jr., eh, um, I've only watched, like, uh, bits of it here and there. It's, um, it's fine. I don't necessarily think maybe it's for me, um, from, from what I've seen, um, uh, but it's, it's fine. I'm, you know, 21 episodes is a lot, though. I'm very surprised, very surprised it's that long. But, um, so yeah. Uh, I am going to returning to reviewing Sasuke. Uh, will I review other international versions of Ninja Warrior? Uh, we'll see. Basically, that's that's my answer. But right now, I'm saying Konoichi, Sasuke, A and W definitely happening this year. Um, also, I kind of want to talk about uh, National Ninja League, uh, and will I be doing uh, season four the same way that I uh, covered? Uh, seasons one through three and the answer to that is actually probably not um, the reason is because when I originally started doing my coverage of the National Ninja League the way I did originally it was to help spread the word about the event uh, the first two seasons of National Ninja League um, the only place you could watch the entire finals competition on YouTube is through my channel um, there are some videos from season one, and I think from season two, if you want to watch all the videos, you have to go through to, I believe Vimeo, they uploaded them to, but like, even then, um, it's, I, I don't recall them being in like run order. Uh, so for the first two seasons, you, you had to go to my channel to watch them. With season three, however, um, National Ninja League really upped their game. Uh, they have... They had full live streaming of the event on their YouTube channel, so the entire event is on their channel 
with full commentary and in uh, stages two and, and three, they had the clock um, on the screen as well. Um, and so, you know, with season four, they're moving even further ahead with production. You know, they're, they're actually going to be in the XL Center instead of a, of a ninja gym. And they're upping their production in terms of, you know, course and uh, I'm, I'm with live streaming as well. You know, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure they're going to be using, you know, even better equipment uh, for recording and stuff and doing more stuff with their channel. And so I'm not really needed anymore the way that I used to be in terms of showing the runs uh, and stuff. And so I, I'm not a hundred percent, but I would say there's a 95% chance that I won't be recording every run and then uploading it uh, to YouTube to on my channel. Um, and I think another part of the reason is just because last season took so much time <laughs> to, to edit all that stuff. There was so many competitors. The final product was nine hours of footage. And that's after I cut down the amount that I recorded. I had to cut, I had to cut runs, uh, cut, cut the ends of each run, you know, cause, cause you always, you start early and then you end late. Um, had to put all the text, all the, all the clocks. It, it adds up over time. Like it was like a month, uh, uh, over a month of, of editing, uh, to get those videos out. And, and honestly, to be like a little honest, and this isn't like putting the blame on anyone else, like. Uh, views wise, they didn't really perform as as well as I I thought they would, and I think part of that is because uh, National Ninja League has their own stuff on their own YouTube channel, which is fine. It's it's great that they are doing that on their own channel. So I think for those reasons, uh, I'm going to be stepping away from doing the actual recording of the whole event because if I'm not editing those videos that are quite frankly not as needed anymore because National Ninja League has their own stuff. Uh, I can use that time to edit something else. Um, however, I do, as of right now, I do intend on doing more interviews with uh, with people at the National Ginger League. And maybe, like, since, uh, you know, I won't be recording as much, hopefully I'll be able to get even, even more interviews than I've ever done before while at the event. I'll, I'll definitely make an effort to, you know, produce the most amount of interviews I've ever done uh, from a National Ninja League. Um, so... That's kind of how things are working out uh, with that. And um, also, like, <laughs> if I'm not recording, that means I get to, like, I guess enjoy the event a little bit more. Not that I haven't enjoyed the event before, but, like, during the actual running of the courses, I was always a bit limited in what I can do because it's, like, I have to record, so I'm pretty much staying in the same spot the entire time. I can't, like, walk around and, and stretch my legs while watching and, and, and talking to other people and, like... You know, this year with with NL season four, they're doing multiple courses at the same time, multiple age groups, and so maybe I want to watch some of that stuff. Um, but yeah, so don't expect the same coverage National Ninja League. Like, I'll still, I'll probably do a vlog from it. I'll, maybe I'll record some runs, um, but like, don't expect like the whole competition. Basically, that's that's the point I'm trying to get across. Uh, so, so yeah, so. Uh, I still encourage you to check out National Ninja League uh, on their YouTube channel and Facebook and all that. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to be different uh, in 2019. Uh, one of the things that will be returning is Obstacle Lab. Um, I just want to say, uh, for those of you who liked the original six-episode run of Obstacle Lab, uh, I just want to say thank you uh, for your comments. And if you didn't like it, um, I just want to say thank you also for your comments. And I understand <laughs> that you, why you didn't like it. Um, I, I totally get it. Like no hard feelings at all. Um, obstacle lab, uh, at least for this first season, it existed for me because like, I really feel, felt like I needed to do something else a bit that, you know, I, for a while I had just been doing reviews, national ninja league, and like some podcast stuff. And that's basically it. There's very few variation the, the past couple of years. I needed to do something different. And that was something different to me. And so um, I do recognize, though, that there was some there's some issues like in terms of like actually the finished product. So I had already I have recorded two more episodes and I kind of I'm trying to find ways to make it more 
engaging and entertaining. I think one of the things I'm going to do is that instead of releasing the shows as seasons, I'm just going to upload them as they're done. So I kind of, even though I've finished filming the challenges of, of each um, episode, I'm not done with the filming yet. And you'll, you'll see what I mean. I'm trying to make, trying to add more to it. I, I think it should be, should be fun. I, I, I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm looking forward to seeing what you think. Um, one of the things that I also want to talk about is that um, one of my goals for 2019 uh, with this channel is to start reviewing more uh, Ninja Warrior video games. Um, obviously, I've done two so far, do, uh, did two browser games, Team Ninja Warrior Run and most recently uh, American Ninja Warrior Ninja vs. Ninja. Um, I want to talk about um, the various uh, console games and, and portable games such as, uh, such as this one right here. This is um, the first uh, Kiniku Banzuke slash Sasuke video game, um, the first one for the Game Boy. Um, we have uh, an American Ninja Warrior video game coming out in March currently, so uh, I wanted to do some coverage of that, um, as well as just other games. I want to acquire other games. Uh, there's some other browser games and stuff. Um, I don't know how many I'll review in 2019, but um, I want to do coverage of more Ninja Warrior games, basically, um, out of this in 2019. Also, I want to talk more about shows that aren't just Ninja Warrior related. Like, you know, a lot of the classic Nickelodeon shows from back in the day. Or, or maybe one of my personal favorites, uh, American Gladiators. Uh, <laughs> talk about those type of stuff. Um, also, like, I mean, I can, I can get back to talking about Ultimate Beastmaster because uh, I haven't really talked about... Uh, seasons two or three at the moment. Uh, I'll get to those eventually. Um, and uh, we got Titan Games coming up, um, uh, starting very soon actually on NBC, and as well as just other stuff um, like other other classic Ops Course shows from my from my youth, and and uh, some not so classic from uh, my later years. <laughs> so that's kind of I guess that's just sort of the gist is that like. I want to do more, um, and unfortunately that does mean sacrificing some stuff. Um, I have a list of like videos that I want to make, and right now, just for 222 Productions, I've surpassed a hundred ideas of what I want to do, and I just want to say, like, to those who watched this year, those who stuck with me this year, uh, I just want to say thank you, and I promise that 2019 will be the best year ever for this channel. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time with my review of Sasuke 36. See you later. It is 36, right?